Hey friends, it's Tasha. Let's read Becoming Vanessa by Vanessa Brantley Newton. Let's see how Vanessa handles her first day of school. Becoming Vanessa. Mom pulled at Vanessa's hair as she got it ready for the first day of school. Mom was excited, and Vanessa could tell she wanted her to be excited, too. Vanessa wasn't so sure. What if the other kids don't like me? Over breakfast, Dad told Vanessa not to worry. I know you're nervous now, but you'll come home bursting with stories to tell us. I can't wait to hear all about your new classroom and teacher and friends. How could they not like a special girl like you? But how will they know I'm special? Mom and Vanessa decided she should pick out her own first day of school outfit so her new classmates could tell right away that she was someone they should know. Vanessa chose each item of clothing carefully. Her tutu, a feather boa, her polka dot leggings and shiny new shoes, and her favorite hat. By the time she got her jacket and new backpack on, she felt ready. Dad walked her to school. Miss Delaney did seem nice, but the other kids didn't get Vanessa's outfit in the way she'd hoped they would. Then it was circle time, where everyone would introduce themselves. Vanessa? Look at your outfit. Why don't you go first, said Miss Delaney. M my name is Vanessa. I like to draw. My favorite thing to draw is butterflies. I'm going to be a big sister soon. Thank you, Vanessa. Does anyone have any questions for our new friend? Vanessa, I've never heard that name before. Why are your shoes so shiny? You dropped a feather. Next. Everyone wrote their name. Vanessa noticed it took a lot longer for her than anyone else. When she looked at Megan's neatly printed letters, Vanessa had an idea to make her day a little easier. Can anyone tell us what animal this is? Miss Delaney asked. Megan raised her hand. Vanessa did too. Megan? It's a caterpillar, Vanessa shouted. Vanessa, I called on Megan. My name is Megan now, too. No, it's not. Your name is Vanessa. After that, things only got worse. I can't see past her hat. Too many feathers. Even her shoes were pinching her feet. This day wasn't special. Her outfit wasn't special and neither was Vanessa. When Vanessa got home, she didn't want to tell mom and dad about her day. She didn't want to talk at all. She wrapped herself up in her blankets, pushing her classroom and her very unspecial day as far away as she could. In the morning, she picked out a different outfit. Are you sure that's what you want to wear? Don't you want to add a special accessory? Mom asked. I don't want to be special today. I don't want to be Vanessa. I just want to be left alone. You don't want to be Vanessa? Why would you say that? Vanessa is long and hard to write. Why couldn't you have named me Megan or Bella? They don't even have to write any S's, and I have to write two. Do you know why I named you Vanessa? Vanessa means metamorphosis. That's what a caterpillar does when it turns into a chrysalis and comes out a butterfly. I gave you a name that would help you become whoever you want to be. You're my butterfly. So, are you ready to go back to school? Almost. That day in circle time, Vanessa showed the class a drawing of the butterfly she saw outside her window. She took her time writing her name across the top. She didn't need her boa 
or her new shoes for them to see she had something special to share. I saw a butterfly and that is what my name means. Vanessa means butterfly. That was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's so awesome that Vanessa, at first, when she started to doubt herself, she realized that just being who she was was already good enough. And you have to love yourself. That's one of the most important things you need to do in life is love yourself. Thanks for reading with me. Catch you next Tuesday.